All right, so let's go through these balance exercises. These are going to be done daily. It's sit to stand, side walking, heel toe or tandem standing, and then heel toe or tandem walking. And balance is important for everyday activities. The following quick balance exercises should be done every day. You can do them all at one time or whenever you think about them. You can improve your balance and maintain the gains. For balance exercises, many people need to start with holding on. And that's okay, but gradually you will hold on less and less. You can challenge your balance safely, for example, by just holding barely on once you feel the exercise is too easy as it is. So we're going to start with a sit to stand, which this is probably the most important exercise that you can do on a daily basis. You could do this while watching TV and you want to make sure you're on a chair that's not too low and make sure it's not on a chair that has wheels. Make sure it's a sturdy chair or you could do it from the couch too. So you're going to scoot to the edge of the chair so that there's space between the back of your knees and the chair. And you're going to place your feet about shoulder width apart and then tuck them right under your knees so they shouldn't be out here you want them right under your knees. And then what we're going to do is you're going to lean forward, nose over the toes, and then you're going to come all the way up, full stand, hold it there for a few seconds, and then nice and controlled, come down. So you make sure you're not plopping as you come down. You're coming down nice and controlled. So let's do it again. We're going to come all the way up. Remember, nose goes over the toes. And then nice and controlled, coming down. Don't plop. If you need to, you could try using your hands to push off your knees, or if your chair has armrests, you can use that too to start. I'm going to go through about 15 of these, but you definitely do not need to start at 15. You can start wherever is comfortable for you. I would probably say try to get at least five. Make sure you're coming all the way up every time, standing nice and tall, chest proud, shoulders back. All the way up, nice and tall, every time. And slowly sitting back down, try not to plop on the chair. And you'll get better as the, at this as the day go, days go on. Go two more, nice and controlled. And you may want to cross your arms on your chest. If you can do it without pushing off, just so you're not tempted to push off. All right, relax that. We'll go to our next balance. All right, I'm going to demonstrate this next one in the kitchen like you would do at home. So I'm going to use the countertop as a support. So we're going to stand in front of the counter. Make sure your toes are pointed forward. And then if you need to hold on to the counter, definitely start with there so you feel secure. And we're going to take big side steps down the counter as far as you can go and back. I get about three steps on this counter. You might be able to do a little more. If you get to 10 to the right and 10 to the left, that's great. I'm just going to keep going here. And eventually we want to work up to just having your fingertips just hovering over the counter just in case you need to touch and stabilize. And then once you get practice enough, you could do it with your hands on your hips. And But I would start with the counter, but as you get more comfortable, you can move to a place like just in front of the wall, so you get a little more steps in that way. And you want to make sure you're having good posture, you don't want to be hunched over. 
Nice and tall, shoulders back, chest proud, and you want to be looking straight ahead. And if you do it long enough, you'll start to feel it in these hip muscles. Which I am feeling it right now. These are important muscle to train for balance. All right, next we're going to go to tandem standing. So I'm going to hold on to the counter here. And I'm going to step in front. We'll start with your right foot in front, left foot behind. And you want to go heel toe and get those feet lined up in as straight a line as possible. We're just going to hold this position. You want to make sure you have good posture, chest up, shoulders back, chin up. Once you set your feet, you shouldn't have to look down at them. You might feel your ankles wiggling, wobbling around. That's good. That's training your brain, training those muscles to react to instability. We'll go about 30 seconds each side. You can start with about 10 seconds, um, whatever is, whatever is uh, comfortable for you. And to make this more challenging, you can go to fingertips on the counter and then just hovering your hand over the counter and kind of freestanding it. So let's switch your feet. Bring that left foot in front, right foot behind, heel toe. Nice straight line. And if you have to, especially to start, you can definitely hold on to that counter. But you want to gradually make it tougher and tougher by going to your fingertips and then just hovering that hand over that counter. You want to make sure you have weight between your two feet, both feet. You don't want to favor one over the other. So you want nice and tall. You don't want to be lean too forward or lean too back. You want to be right in the middle, that right center of balance. All right, relax that. Now I'm going to back up a few steps for the next one because the next one is very similar. It's tandem walking. So. What we're going to do is start with that right foot in front, heel toe, and then you're going to walk it down like you're walking down the tightrope. And for this one too, you want to stay tall and look forward. And then once you get to where you can't go anymore, you're just going to flip around and we'll take it back the other way. Yep, and this one is going to be the same thing. So we'll start out by holding onto the counter, and then we'll gradually move to just fingertips, and then gradually move to trying to just hover that hand over. So it's all you doing the balance. All right, I'm going to go for one more lap. Great job. There's your balance exercises. We'll go over to strength next with Jill. All right, we're going to start with four exercises. These are your strengthening exercises. We're going to do a side hip strengthening exercise, knee strengthening, heel raises, and toe raises. So for the side hip exercise, we are going to stand tall with our face forward. We're going to flex that foot a little bit, and we're just going to raise that leg up. You want it about an inch off the floor and lower it down. So you can start with five of these. If you want to increase that number, you can go to 10 to 15. So try to increase that as you go along. Am I doing 15? Oh boy. Make sure you're tightening that quad, squeezing your glutes, a little bit in that supporting leg. And I lost count. So you're going to do, I'm trying to do 15. 13. Thank you. Mikey says that's 15. Yes. 
Okay, so of course you gotta do the other side. Just make sure you have some support, something to hold on to. You can hold on to a counter, a chair, just make sure you have something to support you. 15. Okay, so we're gonna switch to the other side. So if you're at home, you can just turn. You don't have to move a chair. So go ahead, flex that foot, little bend in that supporting leg, and we're gonna do 15. This time I'm gonna count. So if you have any questions about everything we're doing here today, uh, just see Mikey or myself. Mikey is the pro at this. He went through the training, so see him. If you can't get a hold of him, give me a call. Where am I at, Mikey? I lost count. Ten. All right, five more. All right, last one. All right, we're gonna go on to the next exercise. For that one, we're gonna sit in the chair. So I'm gonna turn it back this way. So this is gonna be your front knee strengthening exercise. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna sit close all the way back in your chair. You're gonna lift up that knee. We're gonna extend it out. You wanna squeeze that quadricep. Make sure it's tight. If this hurts your knee, you can give it a little bend. But if you can, you really wanna strengthen that and squeeze that quad and bring it down. Hold it five seconds each rep. We'll just do five each leg. Okay, we're gonna do five each leg on this one. Up and squeeze. Make sure you hold it five seconds. And down again, up squeeze. Make sure that belly is tight. You wanna take that belly button to your spine. All right, bring that down. We're gonna switch, other side. Up and squeeze that quad. Again, if this is hurting your knee, if it's painful, bend that knee a little bit. And bring it down. Again, this is number two, five seconds. And lower. Up, squeeze tight. We have two more. And last one, squeeze tight. Again, same with this. If you can increase the number, do 10 to 15 each side. All right, next, we're gonna go back up to our feet. We're gonna do some heel raises. So make sure you have some support. How long am I holding these, Mikey? Okay, Mikey says we're not gonna hold these, we're just gonna do reps. So we're gonna do 15. Make sure you have your balance, have something to hold on to. We're gonna go as high as we can up on those toes, squeeze those calves, go down slow. So up and down slow. So here's three. You'll probably start to feel this up through your hamstrings and maybe even into your glutes. All right, squeeze those calves tight. Here's 10, we have five more. <laughs> Last three. All right, one more time. Get those heels off the ground and squeeze. Okay, so we're just gonna do the opposite of the heel raises. We are gonna lift our toes on this one. So you don't wanna rock. We just wanna come up, lift those toes till you're on your heels and lower down slow. Try not to rock your body back and forth. That's fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna do the opposite of the heel raises. We're gonna lift our toes on this one. <laughs> so <laughs> hold on to your counter or your chair and try not to rock your body back and forth. We wanna suck that belly in tight and we're gonna lift up those toes just till we get up on those heels and lower down slow and up. So when you're doing this, when you lift those toes, when you're not rocking, you're gonna feel those quads tighten up because you're using those muscles, so lift. Here's four. And your anterior tibialis. And your anterior tibialis. <laughs> Back down. Here we are, six. 
and lift. Here's number eight. You should feel that. All right, we have five more. Good, last three. Get those toes up there. Two more. And last one. All right, there it is for your strength exercises. Remember, you want to try to do these three days a week with a day of rest in between. Because again, if you have questions, let us know.